I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. She's not in there. I think I'll check all the same. After your display earlier, it's probably safer I get the oil. Obedient too. I knew I liked you. Don't take too long. Just can't stay away, can you? Did you bring the oil? You've grown up in Pericles' home, and yet you're so... different. No one is like Pericles. And he's only slightly more serious than usual, too. Athens is under siege, and he worries for her future. Which is why tonight is a fine time to celebrate what may be our last taste of freedom. When you walked in, you seemed like you and Socrates were... How I wish you were right. One day we will have that man in here with us. I promise you that. I come bearing gifts. <gasps> we're saved! Today... These women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to join us? Now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most... Resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. The Athera? I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh, no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force, and the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anfusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anfusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. How's Eripides? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Everybody won't notice you coming out. <laughs> he won't notice anything. Hiding? <laughs> Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Ah, if it isn't the one who agrees that knowledge is most important. I think we agreed our use of that knowledge couldn't be more different. Ah, you remember. 
Perhaps our conversation can continue. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? You have been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my attention. We're discussing the nature of rules. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasimachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? You just said a general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men? What are you trying to say? I never tried to say anything. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. You're wasting your time. Aspasia. I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, now. To convince someone in this house, even your eyes must tell a lie. Fine, it was me. But my actions were personal, not political. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now and do it discreetly. I'm searching for a woman who fled Sparta with her child years ago. I was hoping you might help. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. 
Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. Cassandra! I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for... You'll understand. I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there's something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. Why send him a Tiochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Erodotus was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to her, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm... related to one of the cult members. And I believe him when he says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. You look tired. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need a weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You'll get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? There is a woman in Corinth I'd like to talk to. I've heard about that place from Alcibiades. He says you don't go there to talk. Alcibiades says a lot of things. He sure does. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Cassandra!